Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another vlog from Uber DC. Yes, that's right, I said vlog. I know it's been ages, weeks, months, I don't know how long it's been since I've done an Uber vlog. But anyhow, I was watching the Rideshare Professor today, and he did a uh, about a one hour show on, uh, I'm sure you guys have all heard about the driver in Maryland who got killed, uh, the passenger who got killed, and the person who uh, murdered them uh, said he was on drugs, PCP or whatever he was on, doesn't matter. His whole show was how uh, we have to, ha Uber and Lyft have to do background checks on uh, on passengers. It's a must, it's gotta be. And, and I realized that there may be some passengers that come from out of the country, they may not be able to do a background check on. Well, you know what? Don't give them a freaking, um, don't give them an account. Now, if they set up their accounts in four countries, uh, Uber, world or whatever their office is called should be able to do a background check on them if they're from other countries so i i take back my previous statement they should be able to do a background check on anybody and uh, it's for driver safety too also uh uber pool and express pool um no more picking up second passengers i don't do, i think i've picked up maybe two or three second passengers in, in four plus years of driving this stuff um and if you don't know the way to get out of it um because i know right now it's like as soon as you get a ping, uh, you don't have time to read, see what the passenger's rating is or anything. It goes right to accept the ride. So what I've been doing lately, and I'll try to show you again today if it happens, is I go in and I select accepted ride by mistake and cancel it. Screw your ratings, people. Safety first. Uh, they're not going to deactivate you if uh, your rating uh, drops down. You're going to have to have more than that. Plus. Uh, as a ride share professor said, if they deactivate you for not accepting rides, uh, I think you're gonna have a case. You're just gonna need a good lawyer. And uh, I'm sure there's plenty out there who would love to go after uh, Uber and Lyft. So anyhow, let's uh, go find some passengers. Hopefully they're all taking Uber X. And uh, we'll see what today brings. Thanks uh, for hanging in there, everybody. Uh, I know I've been dragging on this, um, but uh, we are back. So enjoy today's vlog. I don't know what's coming. You'll learn moments after I do. <laughs> Take care, everybody. And uh, as always, be safe. Stay hydrated. I've got water, too. All right, we'll be back. All righty, that is one ride in the bag. Three passengers, a couple of college students going back to the university. That was a whopping $8.48. As of this moment, no tip, and uh, I probably won't get one. <laughs> They're college students. <laughs> they don't have any money. They do have an Uber account, though, and uh, that was part one. It was an Uber X ride. They had three kids, so there was no way they could have done anything less than that. All right, let's go find uh, somebody else. We'll be right back. Alrighty, that was another ride, and that was UberX. UberX indeed. Hey, just to touch right back on the Uber pool thing, you know you guys are going to accept the rides, that's fine. But what you should start doing is not accepting the second rides. Turn your app off after you get that first ride. And when you get close to dropping that person off, then you can turn it back on. But, uh, we got to do something to strike back at Uber and Lyft. And I, I think this is going to be the best way. If we can get all the drivers to start doing this. Oh, perfect timing. And that is a Uber X. Good. Another Uber X drive ride. Um, but yeah, you know, and everybody, we all want to make money. So you want to take every ride, but we've got to, the only way we're going to be able to do something is to get them to stop doing Uber pool was for us to stop picking up Uber pool. Or stop picking up those second and third rides. You know, it's up to uh, it's up to us to make it happen. Um, just like I said, safety first. They can care less about our safety. It's proven. Background checks are definitely the way to go. That's not going to be 100%, but that's definitely going to uh, capture a lot of bad people out there. It's not going to get them all. They're always going to slip through the cracks. But let's do the best we can. Alrighty, I got to go pick up my customer. And uh, we're not filming anybody today. So stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back. All right. 
Alrighty, that was John. And that was an airport run. Now we're going to test this theory that if you take a passenger to the airport, you're supposed to get bumped up into the queue and uh, hopefully get a receiving ride or a leaving ride. Departing? Departing ride? <laughs> Something like that. We're testing that theory right now, and so far, nothing. It just wants me to go to the lot. And there is no way in hell I am going to go to the airport waiting lot. Uh, it doesn't tell me how many cars are in the queue, but this is a busy time. It should be moving pretty quick. Um, anyhow, we shall see. We'll be back. That's uh, three rides. And it hasn't quite totaled up my other ride yet. But it uh, should be... Should be about, uh, should be averaging about $11 a ride. No tips yet, damn it. So, uh, but I just dropped off John, so he probably hasn't been able to check his phone because he's trying to check in. Alrighty, we'll be back, everybody. Hang tight. You're watching Uber DC. That's right, we're vlogging today. We're vlogging. We'll be right back. Alrighty, that was another airport ride, which is great. Cyrus, uh, nice guy. Uh, he was going to Atlanta also. So uh, my last two rides to the airport have been guys going back home to Atlanta in the surrounding area, which uh, you guys may or may not know or remember. I used to live down in Atlanta, Lithia Springs area. Uh, I wasn't an Uber driver back then, but um, I lived down there just for a short time. And, uh, all right, so uh, we're once again, telling me to go to the waiting lot so I'm guessing the bullshit about um, getting a quick turnaround dropping people off is, uh, is a bunch of bullshit because <laughs> it's packed as you guys know because I was just here minutes ago reporting vlogging back to you all right let's go find another uh, passenger hopefully they're coming right back to the airport I'm liking these uh, short eight nine dollar runs not bad not bad uh, no tips yet but um, I'm still ho holding out hope that we'll get a couple. All right, we'll be back, everybody. You know, back on the uh, Uber pool and the um, background checks and all that, and I don't know if I said this already. I guess I'll know when I go to edit this video. But uh, I realize it's not 100%. But Uber and Lyft, when they first started out, and they weren't doing Uber pool and Express pool and whatever Lyft does. I don't drive Lyft anymore. We were doing fine. They were doing fine. Everybody was making money. Everybody was happy. Um, and a lot of cities still to this day don't have Uber pool and express pool. So I don't know if it's a, some kind of a city ordinance or what the deal is. But if, uh, if any city out there can go without it, why can't all of the cities go without it? Obviously, Uber is still making money. Um, let's let's get on the program here. You guys are just you know bad publicity after bad publicity. It always involves a driver getting his ass kicked, or in this recent case, getting killed. He wasn't even killed; he was murdered. Um, I know it's still killed, but uh, he was murdered. It wasn't an accident at all. A guy plugged a couple of bullets in him and uh, other passenger. Uh, there is no uh, safety involved from Uber or Lyft at all. They can say that they're looking out for us, but they're not. And for you guys who are looking to strike and to get more money per hour and whatever like that, um, they're not going to give you $30 an hour. I mean, you may be making, they'll tell you $30 an hour, but they're going to take out taxes. They're going to take out uh, Social Security. They're going to take out uh, uh, you know, whatever else there is out there, Medicaid, Medicare, um, if you do a union, some union crap, I mean, there's going to be fees involved. You're not getting that 30 bucks an hour if they even agree to that. They're going to do stuff to take stuff out of that. So be careful what you wish for. And, uh, oh, I see it's now surging at the airport. Um, if you're out of cars, I'll get a ping. You don't have to be at the airport to get a ping to the airport. I'm sure everybody's uh, witnessed that. You get pinged from the airport 10 miles away. I've had that happen. It always blows me away. But anyhow, um, yeah, if some cities can do not have Uber pool, why not all of them? Let's go back to just making some decent wages per ride. Then you won't have to worry about uh, giving $30 an hour or whatever the hell the, uh, the 
those groups out there are uh, petitioning for. Let's do background checks on uh, the passengers as well as the drivers. And I don't even know how well they're doing on the drivers. I've seen some drivers out there. I don't know how the hell Uber gave them uh, permits to drive. Uh, they don't check out the cars. You know, go do an inspection of the driver and the car. Like every six months, have them pull into one of the Uber uh, hubs and get checked out. I mean, come on. You want to preach safety, there's step one. Make sure the car and the driver match and the car's in decent shape. I could go to the airport right now and shoot a video and I bet you'll find at least 10 cars that are uh, banged up or in no condition to be uh, driving for Uber as far as an appearance standard goes. There's going to be dents, there's going to be scratches. I wouldn't be surprised if there's trash in the car. Um, it's, it's sad. There's no checks and balances on this. They have you take a picture to verify who you are, and that's about it. Now, bring the driver and the car into one of their hubs and get personally checked out. That's sad. That was one of the things that Lyft did when I first started, when I was driving Lyft. I had to go in and meet with a real person, eye to eye. They came out, checked out my car, uh, checked me out. Um, now, I didn't drive around the block, but some people have driven around the block with them. To make sure that they, uh, I guess that they can drive. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we need to do a better checks and balances. And come on, let's get rid of the pool. You don't need the Uber pool. All right, enough of that. Let's go find a uh, passenger. I just took a lunch break with the Popeyes. And yes, they are out of the chicken sandwich, which I never had. I don't know what the big deal is. Isn't it just their other chicken except shaped differently? Oh, well. All right, we'll be back. Man, this is great. Uh, I guess all this bitching about Uber Pool. I'm not getting any Uber Pool pings, which is okay. Uh, then I just wanted to show you guys what I do when I get the... If I do get an Uber Pool and I take it, if it turns out that uh, it's a short distance, because you can't... You don't get to read the um, information very quick. It's on there for about three, four seconds. You have to make a decision. So if I accept it, and then... Uh, turns out that the ride is behind me and uh, as bad as traffic is I'll just cancel it and then say I uh, accepted by mistake that's one of the options which is good now I don't know if that hurts your oh, excuse me cancellation policy or not but I, I, I don't care <laughs> I'm not concerned about that they can't um, kick me off or cancel a ride and uh, you can always say you know safety <laughs> So anyhow, um, so no Uber pool rides yet today. I've had all Uber X's, which is good. Um, not making as much money as I wanted, but a lot of those uh, short rides to the airport um, weren't very profitable. And uh, still no tips. So I'm over tips so far on the app, but that could change. Like I said, a couple guys I took to the airport, uh, once they get there and they ping for a car, uh, maybe I'll get one. <laughs> Who knows? Alrighty, we'll be back. We're just babbling. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's going to be a wrap for today. Don't want to overdo it. <laughs> After all, I haven't vlogged in a while. But um, I think I was more, of, more griping, maybe. Griping? I don't know. Uh, I think I've always had something to say about Uber Pool and Express Pool since it came came into existence if any of those bastards were watching I just I wish they would just explain it to us why they think this is good especially every week something comes up in the news somebody got killed somebody got mugged something something happened some Uber driver got put in a bad spot or uh, yeah something like that anyhow enough of that all right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for watching another vlog from Uber DC. And let me wait till I get to this stoplight up here. And we'll do a proper sign off. A proper sign off indeed. Uh, yeah, just a few more episodes of uh, Tip Jar Tuesday. I'll be gone most of all of October. So, probably won't have much going on unless you want to watch me on my PJ slots. An entertainment channel the link is down below 
Uh, you can follow me on that. I'm going to be uh, driving cross country and uh, live streaming. Alrighty, so with that, everybody, as always, please be safe, stay hydrated, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am out of here. Good night.